I'm about to do something really crazy today. I'm gonna take a Shinkansen all the way from the north of Japan in Hokkaido, Sapporo, all the way back to Tokyo, which is about eight to nine hours back to my house. And you might be thinking, why am I doing that? Well, I really like trains, a lot. Bought a lot of food, super excited. Also very nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous, but it feels too crazy. Am I, am I, am I insane? got to my seat and it is 10.57 and the train will arrive at 2.26 so just around three hours for the first leg and I've stocked up on a lot of dairy <laughs> I wasn't really thinking I just grabbed everything Hokkaido themed um, so some Hokkaido fresh milk some yogurt <laughs> and then I also got a coffee from Starbucks because that's my go-to Shinkansen drink I was literally not thinking I was like I need to get more because it's gonna be nine hours so yeah Hopefully it's not too packed on the first leg of the train. I'm kind of assuming that it's not going to be that busy because it's a weekday. It's a bit random, but we'll see. I actually have never taken a Shinkansen from Hokkaido to anywhere else before. It's always like from Tokyo to somewhere or Kyoto or Osaka. So. And we're going. We will be stopping at Shinkansen. Okay, I'm going to show you everything I bought. It's very much like the same stuff. I didn't eat breakfast, so bread. And more bread. I wanted to be a little bit healthy on my trip, so I got a capsicum, a red capsicum, which are really expensive in Japan. Like, I never buy them in Tokyo. It's like 300 yen, $3. And on the trend of being healthy, I saw these last minute blueberries. 600 yen, so like six, five, six dollars for like a tiny punnet, and then some Hokkaido cheese. I only had a little bit on this trip, but it wasn't the best, so I went for like a fancy one. It's tiny cheddar cheese and gouda cheese. And they gave me a little ice pack to keep it cool, which is good for my journey. I forgot, I actually got one more snack, which is a donut from Mr. Donut, and it said at the front of the shop, world's best and freshest donuts. I mean, I love these, but I don't think that's true. <laughs> but yeah, it's the Fonda Ray, one of my favorites. I also got water because gotta stay hydrated, not just milk. <laughs> Ooh, and now the nature's changing. It's like lots of green. And luckily I got the window seat. That's the best seat on the Shinkansen. Always get the window. In terms of ways to pass time, I'm just gonna listen to music and I brought my switch and I have my laptop so I can reply to work messages and then also edit if I need to. Unfortunately, the Shinkansen doesn't have free Wi-Fi. I'm really used to the JR East ones from Tokyo to Kyoto that all have the free Wi-Fi. So that's a little unfortunate, but good to know. So I'll have to tether with my phone if I want to get any laptop work done. Thought I'd let my legs move a bit and I came to the doors, which is one of my pro tips if you want to get a view and you don't have a window seat, just come here and you've got a view, like this. Especially when you're taking the Shinkansen where there's Mount Fuji and you want to take a photo, come here, you can get good photos. That's something a lot of people don't realize, but I do it every time I can't get that window seat and I want the Shinkansen window shot. It's also really cute, they have like a photo of this place called Candle Rock and I've never seen that before, like a random photo at the door. They also have more luggage space out here, so that's good to know because when you're traveling during peak tourist season, everyone has a giant suitcase and it can get really overwhelming because there's nowhere to put your luggage. So, especially if you have a big case, you know, you can't lift it up and put it overhead. All Shinkansens also have toilets, so you don't have to worry about not being able to go, which for me on my long journey is very important. <laughs> Probably go about like eight times. Although it is a little um, wobbly and shaky, so. I'll be careful not to fall. <laughs> I'm gonna dig into my cheese. This is cheddar cheese. Also, I had my yogurt, the drinkable yogurt, but it was sitting out for like two hours and I can't tell if it was off. So if I get stomach pain, I'll know why. And I'm gonna regret it. By the way, it's, it's been one hour. It's, it's been more than an hour by six minutes. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Mas. That's not bad, but it's also not life-changing. I feel that a lot of cheese in Japan is not that sharp, 
So that's what this cheddar is missing, like that sharp hit. I forgot to mention, bringing bento boxes, so like a lunch box, is pretty common on Shinkansen. There's even a thing called Eki Ben. So Eki is station and Ben is from bento. But I'm not a big fan of them, so that's why I went for a variety of different things like fruit and bread and cheese and dairy. But there are so many Eki Ben options that you can get for the Shinkansen. And now they make ones that heat up. I did try one of them. It was okay. It's okay. It's just not my first option. I just heard someone open a beer bottle. Yeah, drinking beer on the Shinkansen is also legally okay and very common, even though it's 12 p.m. on a Wednesday. Another way to pass the time is to play my Switch. And that was why it was invented, for travel. So it's really light, it's really easy, and I just have Zelda as well as a couple of other games with me. I'm playing Splatoon as well as Persona, another one of my favorites. I still haven't finished Zelda, so I'm gonna play this and enjoy the nature and the outside world as well as the digital outside world. We're now going along the coast so I can see the water. Unfortunately, it's raining right now, so not the best conditions, but I love having a little bit of an ocean view. One thing I messed up is not buying enough water. I am so thirsty, but I only have a tiny bit left and I have another hour and a half left on the train. So I'm trying not to drink at all. But yeah, I should have bought a big two liter bottle. Maybe I'll have to have a search if they have vending machines. They have toilets, so maybe they're gonna have, you know, water and stuff, but I've never seen them before. Right now we're going through a lot of tunnels and we went past the station that was literally in between two tunnels. It was so tiny and run down and it was called Koboro Station and I couldn't believe that it was there because this place gets massive snowfall and so I love that like riding the Shinkansen I can look out the window and be like oh wow that exists or I would never get to see that by a car or anything else. So that's one fun thing about just looking out the window. Going crazy I just learned something new that you can put your ticket in a ticket holder in front of your seat I have taken at least like 50 Shinkansen in my life and I never knew this because I've got <laughs> hours on this train I was looking around and the person across from me had their ticket in the ticket holder the more you know I'm becoming a Shinkansen professional guys but I'm too scared to leave it there I feel like I'm gonna forget it's it's still staying in my bag but it's good to know <laughs> Just got off the train at Shin Hakodate and I'm not gonna lie, I almost missed the stop. I was just enjoying the scenery out the window. And then, cause I have my noise canceling headphones on, I was reading the sign, it was like Shin Hakodate. I was like, oh my God. So I grabbed everything. <laughs> scrambled, got all my stuff and got off within 30 seconds. <laughs> this station is quite modern and the mountains, you can see them in the background and there's clouds, it's so beautiful. But I've got uh, 20 minutes until my next Shinkansen transfer. So I'm gonna grab water because I was so thirsty. I'm gonna grab like three bottles, four bottles. Cause I don't know how much I'm gonna drink in the next four hours. <laughs> noise cancelling headphones, great to get rid of the noise, but not so great if you're gonna miss your stop. I should put an alarm next time. Yeah. I'll be taking the Hayabusa right behind me here, this green Shinkansen, all the way back to Tokyo. Had a bit of time during my transfer, so I went to the very front of the train and saw the nose. It looks so cool, and I feel like I never have time, and I gotta hop on. Hopping on! I put my luggage already in my chest, so it would be really bad if it took off and everything was gone. Alright, I'll see you at my seat. I made it to my seat just before we're about to start moving, and I filled up on water. I put four bottles. One, two, three, four. And then I figured I'm gonna do it the Japanese way and bring a Sapporo beer. You know, my last thing from Hokkaido. A good old Sapporo. A lot of liquid, but it'll keep me going for the next three, four hours. I can also tell the difference in the Shinkansen. So this one is a lot more modern, like the seats are really nice and we also have like charging points. The other Shinkansen did not have chargers. So luckily I had my battery packs and everything, but otherwise I would have been in a bit of trouble. <laughs> I think 
it's used more because it's like the Tohoku Shinkansen now and that goes from like Tokyo to Sendai and like Morioka and Akita and all those prefectures. This will be the last leg of the journey. I mean, am I halfway? I'm like pretty much halfway there. Another four hours. I can do it. This time I don't have the window seat, so when my neighbor, which the old window seats on this train were booked this morning when I booked it, I'm gonna just be on the aisle, which is not too bad either. But I'm hoping my neighbor won't come until like halfway through. And we're off. My favorite part of the Shinkansen journey in some ways, when we slowly, steadily take off, and then we go to rapid speeds of over 200 kilometers. <laughs> I just remembered we're going over the water because we're going from Hokkaido's island to the mainland. So that'll be my first time doing that. That's really exciting. Woo. Oh, and I'm still energetic. Woo. <laughs> Something that hits about having a beer on a Shinkansen. I don't know. Feels very Japanese. It's the number one illegal in Australia, so <laughs> I'm also gonna give the blueberries a go. Pretty decent. They're not as good as the ones we got from this local farm. Still, feels good to have some fruit. Okay, so I'm not crazy. They don't have ticket holders on this Shinkansen, so it must be specific ones only. When we traveled from Hokkaido to the mainland of Japan, I was assuming it was over the water, but we're actually underground in like a sea tunnel. And they were saying it was 240 meters deep. Wow, that makes me so nervous. I don't know, the thought of that just freaks me out. And especially with Japan being so prone to earthquakes, Imagine if there was an earthquake and you're in this friggin' tunnel, like you feel it so much more because you're underground. And we're in this for 20 minutes. Wow. Wow. I know that when you travel to London, you go in the underground like sea tunnel as well, but being in a Shinkansen in a tunnel, I don't know, please no earthquake. Please no earthquake. Maybe it would be fine even if it occurred, but I don't know. As you can see, pitch black outside. I'm not really a claustrophobic person, but just the thought of being under the sea in a tunnel, it's a bit much. My ears are popping so much. <clears throat> this is kind of uncomfortable. I never feel like this on a train, but yeah, my ears are not feeling too good. Thank Thankfully, I don't have a cold, so I think if my sinuses were acting up, it would not be pleasant being in this tunnel. Made it through the tunnel, seemingly okay. And now we're in Aomori, so northern part of Japan on the main island. I've actually never been to Aomori. Wait, that's a lie, I have. <laughs> but it was a long time ago and I think I only spent like less than a day there. You know what, I actually have been to Aomori a lot, never mind that. Aomori is so beautiful already. We've got these really thick, bushy green trees. It's like forest green. And then of course, once again, the mountains and the mist and the fog so magical and mystical. I really have to take this train in the winter. I think like I would be so freaking excited just looking out the window. Especially when you go through the tunnels and then all of a sudden it goes from green to like pure white. It's awesome. One thing I noticed is this chain is a lot more stable than the other one. Like going to the toilet on the other one, I was scared I was gonna fall, but this one, really good. So I'm loving it. And they have free Wi-Fi, so it's easier to work on my laptop. And it looks like a lot of people are getting on at Shin Aomori, so. This train has one of the food carts. So it was very last minute and I was like, oh, I should get something. So I got another alcoholic beverage, a highball. Just to enjoy the journey on my own. I don't usually drink this much, or this early, but, you know, I've got nothing better to do. And I have enough water this time, even though I probably didn't need to stock up because he's gonna come around again. Anyway, cheers. It's actually a full house on the train now, so I've come out to the window, which I was mentioning earlier, to get a view because my neighbor who's got the window seat pulled the blinds down. 
lots of rice paddies, houses. There's literally no free seat in my carriage, so it's pretty packed. I think it'll be like this all the way back to Tokyo. I couldn't talk to you guys much because my neighbor was there and it was quite busy, but everyone left again. It's the home stretch now. We're pulling into Sendai shortly, which means we're almost in Tokyo. It's like another just under two hours, I think. Yay! I definitely feel a lot more tired now. I think when all the people came on, the energy and the mood of the train changed and it was a lot more cramped, not as relaxing. Uh, but I've got a nice sunset out the window and I'm enjoying the view. It's one of my favorite, absolute favorite things about riding the train in Japan, just looking out at the view. Because it's so different to Australia. And I can see there's a whole nother bunch of people about to get on the train from Sendai. So even though my neighbor left to get off at Sendai, a new bunch, a new wave of people are going to come on now. All the way until we reached Omiya, which is right before Tokyo, it was packed again and I was glad to just kind of close my eyes and relax. As you can see, the sun is now set and it's twilight now and we're almost in Tokyo. We just stopped at Omiya and I guess it's one or two more stops. And I am very tired so I'm excited though. The, the sky is really pretty. Line and the Maranouchi subway line. Please transfer at this station. Please be sure to take all your belongings with you. Thank you for traveling with us, and we look forward to serving you again. Pulling up into Tokyo Station now. Made it! Yes! <laughs> the moment you step off a of Shinkansen, there is a cleaning team ready to clean that beast and then get the next set of customers on. It is really impressive. To Tokyo it feels good to be home that was such a long train journey but I'm glad I did it I had a good time looking out the window and now I know what it's like all right I'm probably gonna do more train journeys like this but let me know what you think and would you do the same journey all right I'll see you next time bye